Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Nini nena cho like o yoshi geta. Oh, more by you. Some more mark I could dear for chella, nay, I for him for him for baby and a baby. I'm waiting for you. Now I'm just going to give you some budget, you know, sensitive recipes now. So then let's start with some sardines. Okay, Rini. Over Nuka. I mean, naturally, as you can tell, I'm not jealous at all. I'm just giving out some good vibes, as you do. Anyway, so I've got my four tins of sardines here. They cost me about 50 or 55p for one. So about two pounds, you've got that. And I've also got my tin tomatoes, as you can see over there, or chopped tomatoes, may I say. This is a bash bash bosh recipe. And as I said, it's price sensitive. Absolutely. So I've drained the oil for my sardines, and I'm going to use that as a base for my stew naturally of course when i'm making my stew i do add my onions to taste as you do and i'm just going to allow this to fry um for about about you know two to three minutes just to allow that infusion to take place as you do <laughs> now let's incorporate some aroma to this dish and i'm just going to be adding my green chilies um as you can see here you can use your bakushito or petit bell chilies may i say or any green chilies of your choosing or then again you know if you've got powdered chili just use that that would work equally but this as i said is budget sensitive and I'm going to fry this mixture for about three to four minutes to allow that infusion to take place. And I have used a lot more chili than usual because, of course, I'm using the oil of the sardines. And I need that flavor in there as well. Now I've got my tomato puree and I'm adding about two tablespoons full. And I'm just going to mix everything together till it's well combined. And I would fry this mixture as well for about two to three minutes. Next is my holy grill, my ginger, garlic, aniseed and onion blend I'm just adding that and I'm mixing everything together till it's well combined now what I tend to do is when I buy the ginger garlic um, and of course the aniseed and the onion I blend it and I freeze it so as and when a recipe requires it I do portion it as well you can use your ice cube container if that's what you have and that just helps you save money definitely so I've just dropped that in and I think this looks good next is I'm just gonna add my chopped tomato absolutely and of course I mean, I'm going to be mixing everything together until it's all combined as I always say So after frying for 10 minutes on that medium to low heat I'm adding half a teaspoonful of my dried rosemary you can use your fresh rosemary absolutely but then again you can omit this altogether this is me doing my kitchen here you see you will that went to africella this is like a slight punishment yeah i'm not jealous i have no i'm not and of course you know i do get my fresh bay leaves thanks to my neighbor's tree so i do have an unlimited access to it so i'm added it and just omit it from the recipe as you do anyway now that this is ready i'm going to be adding capers okay i'll explain this is optional but you can add a little bit of you know lemon juice or lime juice just a little bit reason is because this is quite fishy so you need that yin and yang so that balances the flavor absolutely so what i'm actually making i'll just call it red rice even though it's inspired by of course thy jollof rice let's call this red rice because it's 2020 and you know it's our mouth. Wherever we put in, we can put whatever name we want onto it. So now I'm just going to allow this to just fry and infuse as it should. Absolutely. And of course, I will be leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayifafat.blogspot.com. So do check it out. Now, I think it's a time for me, after frying for about 10 minutes extra, I'm now adding my tinned sardines. You see, they're cost effective and that's it. So if you, you know, you're a bit on the tight budget, you can still get something to chew on. Um, absolutely, in the terms of the sardines, as you do. 
and um, yeah just gonna add that and allow the sardines also to absorb the flavors of the stew absolutely so this I'll do for another five minutes it's all about the infusion only sky doesn't even mean that you don't eat well you eat well but as I said you can omit the capers the dried rosemary and as well as the bay leaves so that it becomes budget sensitive absolutely but then again if um, you can do it then that's perfect absolutely so now the next thing I'm going to do is wash my rice now, if you've been watching this channel you know that I always talk about washing my rice till the water runs clear now better still if you want to cut your cooking time in half once you wash your rice till the water runs clear which might take three to four attempts you can soak your rice for about 15 minutes just to allow it to plump up and it means that you use less water. Now I think my stew is ready for me to add my washed rice. I haven't soaked it this time around so we're going for the full throttle here but then again <laughs> it's a digital for fun. So mix everything together till it's well combined. How many times do I say that? It's interesting because over the years I look at all the videos that I've done and some of them I remember there was a word called actually that I loved. I just kept repeating that. Now unbeknown to most, I will use my lunch break at work, be in the car and I'll be doing the voiceover. So I'm just quickly talking and just getting over it and posting it. And then I realized that I had this fixation with the word actually, but for time I have changed it. I guess now it's like until it's well combined, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I've added my water and I'm going to mix everything till it's well combined. And I'm going to allow this to come to the boil and also that the water thickens up. Once that happens, I'm just going to lower the heat to its lowest setting. Or may I say reduce the heat to its lowest setting. And then allow that infusion and the steam to just cook this rice. This would always make for your fluffy rice. And it's just going to be incredible and kasa because I say so. Alumi mali madalakba minama. Hey, aka gago hamala suade. Kana jimoli na tanji one mouth thousand viade. Akba kalami gohana koko we. Nana makwe. Eh. Gohana toto no doom file for konama. <laughs> so this process of you know the water or me may, may i say the stock thickening up might take about five to seven minutes and of course you need to stir it the reason why you need to stir it is to stop the bottom from catching yes absolutely and um now i'm going to grate some nutmeg and that gives it that sweetness um to the dish absolutely so we've added those you know capers that's got that slight you know bitterness in there but it just works perfectly for this such an incredible one pot dish now to ensure that you do have the whole sardines left i reserved half of the sardines so i had four tins of sardines and i used two for the stew and now i'm adding the remaining two tins this would ensure that you have that whole sort of you know sardine in there so you can crunch on it because this is budget sensitive as i always say <laughs> and i'm using my foil because of course everything is thickened up and it's just nice to just trap the steam in and allow those to cook do not open it and just allow it on this lower setting for about 20 to 25 minutes now after that when you take the cover off you end up with this fluffy amazing rice is you definitely is our red rice you can call it jollof me i call it red rice Aye. it's 2020 it be our morph where we put things from morph wherever we put in we now we go give it a name hello i did like hey this is not any other food this is in to do by far far and i hope i've given you that reason to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and the notification button which means that each time i do upload a video you are notified of it and i'd like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for 2019 and as we get into 2020 my first recipe i hope i bring you more recipes absolutely and i have actually noted all your requests most definitely i'll bring in more vegetarian dishes as you do and pescatarian dishes 
as you do as well. I think I might be reducing my meat content a bit. Yes. But yeah, I've got your bags. Naturally, as I said, I would leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in Dubai for far.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as in Dubai for far. So do pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. Now you kings and queens and beautiful people. I love you for you. You're amazing. What else could I say? You guys, you be je. Akba na mi se. Akba pa. Ba mi kwe. And until my next experience with you guys, take care of you. Be you. Be nice. Be beautiful. Be a gorgeous self. And conquer this next decade. Ye ko ye And I've got some more exciting things coming up for you guys. Me love you for you.